Okay, students, now today I'm going to explain you all about creativity, which is our uh, seventh unit, which comes under our seventh unit. All right, so we have finished motivation, emotion, in, uh, and all those stuff. So today we are going to talk about creativity. Okay, what is creativity and uh, uh, what are the methods of measuring creativity? Okay, so most of you all, will have some sort of an explanation on what is creativity but uh, in this you will be learning a bit in deep like the theoretical part because usually what you all do is you all uh, have some sort of an idea about what it what creativity is okay so now i'm going to explain you the theoretical uh, explanation and also the psychological uh, meaning given to creativity Okay, on a psychological perspective, we are going to look at creativity. Okay, so this image itself, you can see that this is some sort of a creative image. You can see a person smoking, all right, with a, uh, through a pipe, okay, and uh, you can see a lot of uh, creative things in this painting, okay. So now I will give the first question to Imara. Can you just tell me what is creativity on your point of view? Imara, can you tell me? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, creativity means some uh, some people think of their own creation, like innovating of their own ideas. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Innovation is one part of creativity. That's true. Correct. Okay. How about Nazla? Can you tell me what is the meaning of creativity? What can you understand? Creating something new. Very good. And how about Mariam? Can you tell me what is uh, creativity? Imaginative ideas. Imagination, very good. Okay, Samha, can you tell me what is creativity? Creating something new as Nazla. Creative something new, okay. Fine. So now, uh, now you all will be getting this handout uh, in your group. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to get a printout of this and write your name and the date that I gave this to you. Right. You'll have to write this down. Okay. And the other thing that I want to uh, remind you all is, so you all have to, at the back of your book. Okay. At the back of your book, I will be. Uh, I mean, like you all have kept the space. I mean, the last page. Okay, you all will be receiving uh, an attendance sheet. Okay, an attendance sheet. In that, uh, you will be getting a PDF. Okay, so uh, what you have to do is you have to get a printout of that and you have to attach it at the back of your CR book. Okay, and uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to. Okay, so now here, what is creativity? Creativity happens when someone comes up with a creative idea. An example would be a creative solution to a difficult problem. But what makes an idea or solution creative? Creativity is the ability to generate, create or discover new ideas, solutions and possibilities. So this is the this is the answer for what is creativity. So it is the creativity is the ability to generate, create or discover new ideas, solutions and possibilities. Very creative people often have intense knowledge about something, work on it for years, look at no novel solutions, seek out the advice and help of other experts and take risks. So actually you have to understand the most creative people are the people who take risks, okay? So taking a risk is not a possible thing by everyone, okay? Everyone around us are unable to take risks. So taking a risk is actually you're uh, depending on yourself. That means you're relying on yourself. We are most of the people they don't do. So by relying on yourself, what happens is the outcome would be 
that you will uh, end up being a creative person. All right. So because you can just look at the successful people around, like, <coughs> excuse me, right? The people like, I mean, whom you have heard the, you have, we would have heard about Steve Jobs. Okay. How many of you all know who Steve Jobs is? Who is he? Who is he, Samha? Do you know who is Steve Jobs? No, sir. He's the founder of Apple, right? He's the founder of Apple. So iPhone and iPad, which all use, right? He's the founder of uh, that, uh, that particular product, okay? And his motto is known as Think Different, okay? His motto is Think Different. So that is also his creativity, he comes from his experience, okay? He is not a, I mean, like intelligent person, right? He's a creative person. So that is why he created things that even at, he, he passed away in 2011, right? Since then, up to date, right? His products are number one. So that is because of his creative ideas, okay? Although creativity is often associated with the arts, it is actually a vital form of intelligence that drives people in many disciplines to discover something new. Creativity can be found in every area of life, from the way you decorate your residence to a new way of understanding how a cell works. Although psychologists have offered several definitions of creativity, probably the best definition is the one recently adopted from the three criteria that the US patent office uses to decide whether an invention can receive patent protection. Okay, now do you know what is a patent? Mariam, tell me, what is a patent? If you don't know, no problem, you can tell you don't know. Imara, can you tell me what is a patent? Don't know, sir. Don't know. Okay, a patent is some sort of a license. Okay, a patent is a license which is being given for new inventions. Now, if you invent something new, right, which no one else has invented before, right? You have to register that under your name, okay? So even if you invent a new sort of a product, right? You have to first obtain your patent, right? Uh, in order to register that under your name. If not, someone else can uh, steal that uh, knowledge and they can produce that product, okay? That they can invent that particular product. So a patent is some sort of a license that you get for new innovations. Okay, so the first, now this is, this criteria is being used by US Patent Office to decide whether an invention can receive a patent or not. Okay, this is the criteria. Let's see. There are three criteria. okay? The first criterion is originality. The idea must have a low probability. Indeed, it often should be unique. Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity certainly satisfied this criteria. No other scientist came up with the idea. So the first criteria is, right? That means the, I mean, like, you now I'm explaining you how that may, uh, the definition of creativity, right? How we can define creativity based on what? Okay. Now we cannot just say if, if someone, uh, for example, we'll see if someone draw, uh, creates a new, uh, he invents a new invention, okay? So we can't just say that he's very creative. We can't blindly say. So we have to come to a conclusion based on these three criteria, which I'm explaining you, okay? The first criteria is originality. So we had to first check about the originality of it. The second criteria is it should be useful, okay? The usefulness. The idea should be valuable or work. For example, a solution must in fact solve the problem. Now, if you come up with a solution, we can't just blindly say that, you no, know, just think you know, we, uh, in, in Sri Lanka, we do have a lot of problems, right? So uh, if you consider the, uh, I mean, the government of Sri Lanka, right? They are having so many problems to solve, right? If, and people are giving solutions as well, 
but those cannot be creative solutions because why most of them are ignored because those solutions which were given cannot solve the problem so it should be a useful solution okay so the first is originality second is usefulness right an original recipe that produces a dish that tastes too terrible to eat cannot be creative now you now most of the people what they do they all try to become now during this lockdown and uh, quarantine time right what do people all the people who are at home have become chefs okay why they produce new they i mean like they uh, cook new recipes okay and they upload it on youtube right so if the recipe is i mean if the dish is too terrible to eat that means you cannot eat will that be a creative dish no it will not be a creative dish okay so it should be it should have some sort of a usefulness okay the next third is surprise right first is originality second is usefulness third is surprise the idea should be surprising or at least non obvious right non obvious to use the term used by the patent office right what do you mean by non obvious for instance a solution that is straight forward so it's like something like this obvious means what that means most of the people they know about it obviously i know this right so you go and say that okay during a rainy season there will be uh, a rainbow right during when there is a rainy season you can usually uh, observe a rainbow okay so if you go and tell that to a person will he be surprised uh samha will he be surprised no sir why is that because he already knew that there will be rainbow yeah exactly because it's a common thing that uh, uh, people it's a common thing right that when during a rainy season there will be a rainbow but it should be that is obvious then that person will say okay i obvious it's obvious that there will be a rainbow it's obvious okay that is that is a possibility but it should be this according to this criteria it should be a surprise surprise is all almost like it's non obvious right the opposite of obvious okay that means you won't expect that to happen okay for instance a solution that is straight forward derivation from acquired expertise cannot be considered surprising even if it were original einstein's relative that this is just an explanation where you can read it okay so this is just an explanation about what is a surprise so now you all have understood that in order for a particular uh, i mean particular invention or idea or solution whatever in order to become creative okay these it should meet these three criteria the first criteria is originality the second criteria is usefulness the third criteria is surprise okay these three criteria should be met the next is uh yeah i will explain up to this level okay because the uh, this one i don't think because i have another session at 8 uh, okay so i will be stopping at this point right so what you can do is because this one will take a little bit of a time okay to read this it will take a little bit of a time so i will stop at this point so we can continue this cognitive prohar that means how do creators think cognitive scientists have long been interested in the thinking process that led to creative ideas indeed many so called creativity tests are actually measured of the thought processes believed to underlie the creative act the following two measures are among the best known okay so the first test that we used to uh, identify creativity is the rat test we call it as the remote associate test okay i will share this handout in the group so you can just read it until i explain it to you the second is the unusual users task okay unusual users task so these are the two most accepted methods that are being used to identify or to measure uh, the creativity 
all right so let's stop at that point so do you all have any questions with regard to this because it's a small explanation only on creativity do you all have any doubts on this no sir no, no. sir all right